and from the seven the seven spirits who are before his throne ruach normally is um normally appears as a feminine word so in that case would be ruchot the plural yet sometimes ruach appears as a masculine and in that case would be ruchim ruchim <laughs> um just want to make i want to check here how this hebrew ruchot it says and from the seven ruchot who are before his throne those spirits are the ones within the mal the malachim the angels mainly obviously the seven angels of yahweh for besides those seven well there are a lot of that can be said regarding that but as we know in ephesians we are told that we are in a battle in a war against principalities against authorities against pretty much evil spirits and and heavenly entities heavenly malachim pretty much that have fallen from the favor of yahweh who have rebelled so we are told of four different classifications of rebel entities one fell at the very beginning of cre well even before man was created even before this earth as we know it was created and that was samael the first satan to fall which is connected with space and time space has four corners four sides and i repeat there were four entities with whom we are at war therefore when samael fell with his entities there were a fourth of entities that fell with samael which is interesting because during the seals of revelation we see that a fourth of creation is being punished a fourth of creation is being um the one getting hit with the plagues of the seals then like i said there would be three separate types of angels and we know that lucifer fell with a third of the angels therefore that would be one of these three and he falls with a third of the angels in revelation 12 and we are we are at fight with him that's why he is the prince of the power of the air that other one that is in the heavenly uh heaven lies those spirits with whom we are at war and that's why during the trumpets a third of creation is being punished and then comes the last plagues on the rest because of those who fell with azazel and shemhaza which would be the third satan the third satan to fall from the favor of yahweh and there were fallen angels and evil spirits who came from the giants which were their children whom they had with the daughters of adam the daughters of men as we see in uh, genesis 6 so those two left would be the fallen angels with azazel and the evil spirits that came out of their children so those are the four with whom we are at war so in a way one could see the seven angels of yahweh as the ones connected to him directly and the rest of the malachim falling through this rebellious entities obviously yahweh has all entities under his power i'm just saying how those entities relate to creation and to men but yahweh is in control of all of them yet most of most of them became enemies of humanity through their desire of being worshipped and other things i don't doubt that under the seven that i mentioned there are more entities positive connected to them no doubt but those would be from the third heaven and i'm talking about the second heaven in which yahweh sent seven from the third 
which came as a fire to condemn Samael, the first angel to fall. And those seven would remain in that reality, the second heaven, until the end, when through Mashiach would be able to ascend again to the Father. Hope that's clear. Favor or chesed to you and shalom from him who is and who was and who is to come. And from the seven ruchot who are before his throne. Those seven ruchot which are within the seven malachim who are above the seven congregations. So that would mean that Yahweh sent those seven angels to take care of all the congregations in the world. But even them made certain mistakes by allowing their churches congregations to go the wrong way through false doctrines through the influence of certain evil people and stuff like that as we see in the letters to the congregations 